This is how you turn nothing into something, okay? y'all so i really woke up wanting some cereal i didn't have any but i did have some granola which i guess you could say that that's cereal so i had that with some fresh blueberries some bananas as well as my little oat milk and that was my breakfast for this friday then as a snack i decided to enjoy myself some sweet sweet watermelon y'all i love watermelon so much and then for lunch, I had some, it was just kind of just like a quick and easy meal, y'all. I had some broccolini that I picked up from Whole Foods and I'm pretty sure it was gonna go bad. So cook that up with some water, some lemon juice, as well as some garlic powder and garlic salt. And I kind of just made like, y'all, this is gonna be like the most simple meal that you probably are gonna see on this account. Like it was so simple, but still really, really good. And quick tip, whenever you are cooking with veggies, keep yourself a vegetable broth bag. So this bag is just loaded with vegetable scraps that I didn't want to throw away so that I can make vegetable broth at a later date. So don't throw away your veggie scraps. And I have like onions in mine. As you saw, I had some broccoli in there, some peppers in there. It's just like whatever I don't use, I add to the bag. So along with the broccolini that you saw me cooking, I am whipping up some vegan chicken that was sent to me by a brand. I'm still trying to make sure I really like it before I like tell you guys to go buy it. So I'm just having that with some leftover rice, the broccolini that you saw me cooking, and the vegan chicken. If you watched my last video, I made like a really cool like mushroom and okra dish and I topped it with some gravy. So this is like leftover gravy that I decided to pair with my lunch for this day and it was really good. I actually ended up eating some of the leftovers that I had for dinner, but I decided to kick off the weekend and celebrate it being Friday by making myself a vegan charcuterie board as well as having some wine on the side. And they do say that <laughs> charcuterie boards are nothing but adult Lunchables, and I think I agree. So on my charcuterie board, I had some blackberries, almonds, some tomatoes. I had some vegan pepperoni that I picked up at Whole Foods. I actually think I got all of this from Whole Foods, as well as some vegan sharp cheddar cheese, which was really good. And I had that along with some mini cucumbers and apricot jam. All right, good morning, y'all. So it is Saturday and on Saturday, so my husband and I are both in the same MBA program and we have class on Saturdays. Today I'm actually taking class from home because we could not get my puppy Sir into daycare. So I'm staying home this morning and then I'll go to class in the afternoon, but we're on a quick break from class. And so I'm about to make some breakfast tacos and wanted to include that in this video as well to show you what I make like super quick and easy when I'm like in a rush and clearly in class. So I actually had some tofu, like a little bit of tofu that I am marinating in like a, um, I guess like a vegan bacon marinade. So I'll include the measurements that I use in the description box, but essentially it's just like um, smoked paprika. I use some agave, I use liquid smoke, some coconut aminos, I use garlic salt, some onion powder, some black pepper, as well as nutritional yeast all of that for this and I'm gonna let this sit for just like a little bit and then I'm gonna pop it in I think I'm gonna do it in the air fryer actually I think I might just cook it on the stove I think I'm cooking on the stove because it'll be a lot quicker and then these are the tortillas that I'm going to use I bought these from Whole Foods um, I really like them they're really good I would say they're probably my favorite almond flour tortillas I'm gonna add a little bit of just egg to it as well some tomatoes and I have these uh, microgreens. I'm just gonna top them, well, add them to my um, tacos because I need to get rid of them. And normally, like, these can go bad quickly. So I wanna get rid of them. While this is cooking, so I actually have to run in a few, but I just wanna taste it to make sure it's good. It has a really great flavor. So I'm gonna let this cook down just a little bit more so it can crisp up some more.
and I'm also adding to my breakfast tacos the vegan liquid just egg so I'm gonna have that with my go-to seasonings which is the garlic and herb onion blend as well as some black salt for an eggy flavor And of course, I am enjoying my chlorophyll water. So good. And this was breakfast. All right, and so now I'm about to make some lunch. I am taking, I had some rice and broccoli from like a previous meal. I'm taking that, my bad, I'm flipping the camera off. I am taking that and y'all, I put on some nails real quick. Cause I was like, mm, I'm not feeling this naked nail thing, but I have some rice and broccoli. I'm going to cook this in the skillet, add some vegan cheese, kind of make like a cheesy rice broccoli type of thing. And then add in some protein and that's going to be lunch. So I did, I had some of the tofu from earlier, the crumbled tofu that I ate for breakfast. I just added that in here. Uh, but. And I actually do have a, um, what is it? A cheesy rice broccoli casserole on my website. I'll actually link that in the description box, but I have that on my website. This one, I am just like, listen, little to no time throwing it together. So I might have lied and said that the previous meal that I had Friday was the easiest and most simple. This probably is right up there too. I just added in some oat milk as well as some vegan cheese. And I'm just like mixing that up and kind of letting it sit until the cheese fully melts. All right, and so I think, I think this is good. This is kind of like how I want it to look as if I just like scooped it from like a casserole. So I'm gonna place this in a bowl with um, some little vegan chicken tenders that I have. I definitely should have eaten before I started editing because now I am so hungry. Y'all, my expectations were like super low for this, but it's actually pretty good. Like my expectations were so low, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was fire actually. Mm-hmm. This is how you turn nothing into something, okay? And I actually find that like, if you were to cook like a bunch of vegetables during the week and just keep them like in your refrigerator on standby, you can whip up some really good meals. So I would say that's one of my tips for you guys. Like maybe just cook like a number or a good amount of vegetables again during the week, have like some Brussels sprouts, some broccoli, keep some rice and you can make something out of that for real. Well, I enjoyed that clearly. And now that class is over, I am going to make myself a vegan pizza using pizza dough that I picked up at Trader Joe's. It's their garlic and herb pizza dough. So delicious. If you haven't seen my Trader Joe's grocery haul where my mom and I went shopping together, be sure to check that out so you can see which dough I'm actually referring to. So I added some pizza sauce. I also added some vegan basil pesto, which was really good. It was one that I got from TJ Maxx. I think I shared it in a previous video as well, but added on that and then topped it with, if you remember the vegan cheese that I shared for my charcuterie board, I actually just shredded that up and added it to the pizza. And you see me adding in some vegan ground meat that I cooked up, also some peppers and then my good old favorite, that garlic and herb onion blend. Y'all, I might have found some vegan cheese that really melts on pizza. Look at that. And my two favorite toppings for pizza is agave as well as hot sauce. Y'all don't judge it until you try it. 
also okay so you maybe you can judge me for kind of throwing a salad <laughs> on top of this pizza but i just felt so bad for not having anything green on here so i was like girl go ahead and grab that salad <laughs> throw it on top and call it a day y'all this pizza is so good like oh my gosh All right, so it is Sunday and we are going to get some brunch. Say hey, babe. Hey, babe. <laughs> but we're gonna go get some brunch. We are going to a local spot here named Prelude and it is so delicious. So, yeah. So whenever Brandon and I go out to eat, we try to find places that can accommodate the both of us, which is sometimes a challenge. So I am happy that I found Prelude and I always end up just creating a dish versus getting what's on their menu. And they have really great mimosas. This is a passion fruit mimosa. We're gonna sit. What else did you get? From, oh my gosh. Woo, yeah, I am sticking with this one, y'all. I cannot do this. Like, I do not like spice. So I'm not trying this, but I'm gonna smell it. So I just ordered their breakfast tacos and it comes with black beans as well as sweet potatoes. Normally it would have eggs and cheese, but I opted out of that and then had them add some tofu and y'all, it was really, really good. If you were a kombucha fan, find this. It was so good. After brunch, we made a quick pit stop at, well, it actually wasn't even quick. We were there forever. But we made a stop at Sam's Club and bought some items for the week. And for the next couple of days, I plan to really eat this Mediterranean inspired pasta salad. So I had like some chickpea pasta, I had cucumbers, tomatoes, I had red onions, I also put in, I believe it was some fresh parsley, some black olives, and a variety of seasonings. I will have this recipe in the description box so that you can try it. I absolutely love it. And I top it with the vegan feta cheese, which I talked about in a few videos ago, but so amazing. It's from Follow Your Heart. I just popped that in the refrigerator for like five minutes and I actually topped it with some vegan ground meat that I cooked up. But yeah, that was dinner and I ate on this for the next couple of days. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment. I'll see you next week.